LeBron James is someone who has nothing but outrageous, soulless praise laced upon him. But let's forget present day. Let's forget modern day. Let's even forget the second Cavs run. Let's forget the Miami run. Let's even forget, you know, 09, 10, his last seasons in Cleveland. The first time LeBron James may have gotten exposed in the NBA, that is, because now I'm hearing certain stories about when he was in high school and middle school being exposed. <laughs> Hit the like button. But the first time LeBron James was exposed in the NBA, to my memory, was the 07 NBA Finals. Now, in that first Cavs run, LeBron James had to work so hard to get that team anywhere. That team was full of role players who were not not even just mediocre role players and in 07 he literally carried that team to the finals but something you have to mention about LeBron James when he was in the Eastern Conference from 03 to I don't know was it 2017 much like Tom Brady Brady had a weak AFC East his whole career I'm, I just made this video on the channel. Check it out. Why Tom Brady is not the greatest of all time. Check that video out. Facts. Facts all throughout that video. Tom Brady played in a weak division his whole career. And even in Tampa Bay, he played in a weak NFC South. LeBron James, the same thing. LeBron James dominated the Eastern Conference. Yeah. Yeah. When every team in the East was struggling to win 45 games. A lot of those Eastern Conference uh, uh, Eastern Conference standings for a lot of those years of LeBron James' career, how many teams won 50 games? But meanwhile, the whole time in the East, the, the eighth seed won 50 games. There were times when the eighth seed in the West was winning 48, 49, 50, 51 games. The West was the toughest conference for years during LeBron James' career, but no one mentions that. You're supposed to be impressed he got to the finals that many times or or he got to the Eastern Conference final. Yes, in an era where the Eastern Conference had teams, you, you had eighth seeds in the East. They, they had like 41 wins, 44 wins, and they're in the playoffs. And you're supposed to be impressed, but beyond that, the first time... I remember him being exposed was the 07 finals versus the San Antonio Spurs. Now, by that point, the Spurs had built a pretty much a dynasty team. They kind of had off and on years, like literally like every other year they're winning the championship. Pretty much on average. And Tim Duncan was right at that point. He was still the most dominant he was the most dominant big man in basketball. But by that time, Shaq was a little bit falling off. And, uh, you know, basically in, in 2006, 2007, if this was NBA Live 2K, Tim Duncan is a 99, 98, 99 overall. So, to make a point. So, um, hit the like button. So, when the Cavaliers got to that finals, and I remember being surprised, how did Cleveland get to the finals? And that shows you how weak it was at that point. But, you know, there was still Detroit who was good and things like that. But the, the East as a whole for years and years and years when LeBron was there was just the definition of weak. So they get to the finals, and obviously everyone on earth is picking the Spurs 4-0, maybe 4-1. The Cavaliers had no realistic shot. It, it's not like today where these people are so biased and delusional because they fantasize and worship one player. So I like this person, so they're going to win. Like, no, back then, people had more sense. You knew the Spurs was going to get another ring, and it was a very predictable finals and a very boring finals because the Spurs were a great fundamental team, but they were very boring. But it doesn't matter they were boring. They won, and they had a system that you could not beat. Shaq and Kobe struggled with, with the Tim Duncan Spurs in earlier years. Even if they beat them and got past them, it was a struggle. 
Now, the exposing of LeBron James came in the 07 Finals because it exposed he didn't know how to read defenses. And you can say to this day he still doesn't because LeBron James has been using the same formula. I need the ball at the top of the key. Get out the way. I need a running head start. I will offensively foul my way for a layup. He doesn't get defenses. LeBron James is a good passer. He's not a great passer. He makes a flashy pass, you know, every every game or so. That doesn't mean you're a great passer. That means you made a flashy pass. A great passer is you got somebody open. A great passer is not somebody was wide open. And then they made the shot, you got an assist. There's a difference between being a good passer and getting assist. Being good at getting assist, there's a difference. He, he, a lot of his passes, he's not passing you to be open. A lot of his passes, the whole building is looking at him, so someone is open. He didn't understand how to read defenses, and to this point, he hasn't really improved his game there either. But you can say LeBron James never improved any part of his game because he plays the same now as he did when he was a rookie. He still has no post defense. He has no post offense. He can't play without the ball. He doesn't run off screens. He doesn't know how to guard someone coming off a screen. He never guards the other team's best player. The other night as I record this, The Lakers played the Phoenix Suns. This was one of the few times, I believe, that the Suns had Durant, Bill, and Booker playing. Okay, in that game, Durant, Bill, Booker, who was LeBron James guarding the majority of that game? Most likely Grayson Allen. If he was guarding Durant, Bill, or Booker, you know what he's thinking? Oh, please, please, somebody switch. Switch so I can get on Grayson Allen. Please, I don't want... Bill got 37 points. Please, switch. LeBron James is the king of the switch. Please, let me guard somebody who nobody knows. Please. (laughs) In the 07 finals, he got locked down by that Popovich, Bruce Bowen, bow tie defense. Now, this this is the peak of Bruce Bowen. Bruce Bowen, one of the great, he's one of the greatest defenders in NBA history. Oh, once again, if this is live or 2K, at that time, Bruce Bowen's on-ball defense should be a 99. One of the greatest defenders, and he locked LeBron James down. He irritated him. He, oh, my God. He, he broke him mentally. People, you know, when people think of LeBron James failing in the finals, the, the first finals they go to is the Mavericks finals, which he was terrible. But he was worse in the 07 finals. You can see it. He did not know how to read the floor. So it didn't matter that he can get you 28 points. It didn't matter he was athletic. He he could not do what he needed. He could not play the mental chess game at that time. Still can't. So when you take him out the game, and then you have Larry Hughes who's playing horrible, you have Daniel Gibson who who You know, he played solid before the finals, but it's Daniel Gibson. I believe he was a rookie. You can't depend on him. Ilgowskis was always slow and immobile. I believe that team, I believe they had uh, Daniel Marshall, maybe Drew Gooden, Sasha Pavlovich, Anderson Verizal. Does this sound like a team that's going anywhere? Now, they got to the finals, but like I said, that shows you how weak that era was. Okay, this is when you had Gilbert Arenas. I mean... (laughs) Please. They they got to that finals, but it was basically off one man's back versus a weak conference, and then when they faced a powerhouse, you saw the difference. And like I said before in a previous video, nobody made their career beating Bill Russell. Nobody made their career beating Magic and Kareem into oblivion. Nobody made their career beating Bird into shambles. No. Bird and and Magic had battles. Nobody made their career beating Jordan. But how many people got their first ring or built their legend beating LeBron James in the finals? Tim Duncan added another chip (laughs) over LeBron James. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard got famous. How? Beating LeBron James. Dirk Nowinski's first ring, Jason Kidd's first ring, how? Beating LeBron James. Didn't Deshaun Stevenson, do I really need to do a video on the the, the Deshaun Stevenson, LeBron James? Because I remember being here for that. 
<laughs> Deshaun Stevenson got his first. Deshaun Stevenson got a ring before LeBron James. <laughs> Curry, Thompson, Draymond built their career off beating LeBron James. <sighs> It's a never-ending fountain of content. I'ma eat off his carcass. Hit that like button, share button, subscribe button. Check out the community section. Also, subscribe to all my other channels. I'm about to open a sports betting channel. If you want to make some money and uh, tutorials, how not to lose money, how to win money, how to bet when you're desperate, how to bet for the first time ever, how to get through, how to get over having anxiety over your first bet. What to bet, what not to bet. So look out for my betting channel. Uh, but subscribe to my other channels in the description of this video. My gaming channel. Um, a lot of sports games. A lot, I play a lot of the classic PS2 Maddens. I play the current games now. You know, NBA Live, NBA 2K, wrestling games, boxing games, Halo, uh, PS1 games, uh, Xbox Series S, PS4, all types of things. Check out my uh, music channel. I do make songs. Uh, uh, if you like 90s sounding boom bap, uh, Griselda, Joey Badass sounding. And also my other music channel, which is XDN Reacts, which is where I talk about like 90s uh, rap music and I review rock music and I talk about current battle rap and things like that. Check out all my channels and uh, that is it.